I did get some of this recorded as well. It's all clean gravel. It's all just yeah. Look at the pipe. Even if they didn't hit it directly, if they came within a few inches of it, that compression from the gravel, that head going through, can bust the hole in the pipe and cause it to fill up the gravel. You got to be at least 12 inches away, and they were right on top of it. Yes, they were. I mean, there's still gravel here. <laughs> Not landscaping stone. And here's a piece of pipe. Yeah, we found a couple of chunks of pipe in there. Oh, let it settle the um, first thing I would right do there. is see if you have uh, service line coverage on your homeowners because they'll pay for the repair if you have service line coverage and it's the right policy. I've heard a few that are not. Okay. Then I would get a hold of Kakana and then see if they have any questions for us. They'll call, we can tell them what we found. Pieces of broken pipe. Hmm. You can actually get a hold of anyone at TDS that might be willing to do something, but trying to get a hold oh, of anybody's impossible. We've been trying to get internet at our shop for four months, and you can never get the same person. And so this this is a discharge line, or is this an? Income? This is a storm lateral. Storm lateral. Yes. All it'll be written up on uh, the invoice. Although technically this one isn't a lateral. No, it's not. It's a storm sewer line going to a mini storm sewer, which goes to the actual main. Laterals typically come off the main street to a house. Is the way they define them. Yeah. <laughs> it, it seems like a minor difference, but the difference can be two, three feet in height, a lot of cost for fixing stuff, just who takes responsibility. It, it's a lot of minor differences that don't we'll sound like a lot, but they close that up. Yeah, well, this is, sounds very complex now to fix. It's really not that bad. Basically, that section will have to be dug up. It'll have to be repaired. Mm -hmm. And that'll be the end of it. It's just a matter of paying to do it. I'm sure it'll be. Just yours, because it's on just your section. If it was on that straight section, then multiple houses may be tied into it. I don't know. It starts there, and I'm guessing it dumps there, so even that section may only service your house. I'm guessing the neighbors might tie into it. I, I don't know for sure. What's the coverage on the insurance uh, Service line coverage. The only way the city might cover it would be if they were going to go after TDS for it. Yeah. If they're going to backfill whatever contractor had the permit, if they still had permits open, that they would go, okay, you damaged it, we repaired it, or give them the right to repair it first. And then if they didn't want to do it, they're going to go, okay, we're going to you know, backfill you this much. Do we covering to, this repair. Yeah. Yeah, that Which, it happens, but not super often. Easement, Usually, so. they just don't want to get involved. It's the sad part. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they won't get involved. You see? Yeah. There was. Um, they, they used to try to burn. Well, they like, burn. The, the, they still. I don't. They didn't do it last year. Trust me, Joe. But they usually burn like. Need to control burns on this part. Yeah. And just down the road, there's like this area they did it, and they ended up burning all the siding on someone's house. And, and then they, they don't want to cover it. Yeah, that person. They moved. wouldn't acknowledge it. Yeah. That person moved. <laughs> so this is pretty much just. Uh, I'm just gonna have to bend over and take her. How expensive is the repair typically? Usually two, three thousand. Okay. For something this short and this depth is. Not horrible. This is still money. And it's 
is not in the roadway that is under the concrete, that would turn into 10, 12 very quickly. Because yeah. now all of a sudden you're reporting yeah. six, eight inch thick full section of roadway. So being in the right of way and under only grass, cheapens it a lot, but it's still not just a couple of dollars. Absolutely. You know, you look at that white plastic in there. What? That is ridiculous amount of gravel. Holy cow. Right to the top. <laughs> That's the wind. The wind gets you good. <laughs> There's like nothing left somewhere. That pipe is just smashed. Because to be that full of gravel, that literally just compacted all the gravel right inside it. It is filtering through a little bit because we have water running and that's why it clears up. Mm -hmm. It's slowly filtering through or around it a little bit. I was just hoping to be able to see up to the conduit, but I don't know if the conduit itself is actually in the pipe or if it just went like next to it and shattered it and pushed all the gravel in it. So like I said, if you're crossing it and you're right against it, it'll still crush it and push everything in it because of the way those work. One disadvantage about directly boring is they don't remove dirt back very much. They kind of compact it as they go. They do have a pump that helps keep the stuff cleared, but it's still not pulling the piles of it out. They're just keeping the drill bit cleared, so it's just compressing everything around it. Why'd you go back up? Yeah, I went forward. That is ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Great school. Yeah, and it's back, but it's six, eight feet. I was trying to find a help. Ow. Sorry, that point. No, that's all right. <laughs> get a tax. There is, there's plenty of room here. There's times we filter it. We can't even get anything yeah, in. That's true. Yeah. Well, we got rid of the tree that oh. used to be here because we thought that was terrible. Probably was in the top. That's where the piece came from. I can see the broken. Yep. And it broke from the top down. Yep, and that would be right about right. That you, that the depths you were getting. That's a leaf, but to me, it could be a leaf. It turns down. I don't get that stuff. I don't feel like digging it. Well, I'm just stirring up the water. I'm not ramming into it. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> One day we pushed uh, 300 feet from a trailer house. Uh, we were told the new sewer line was. Oh, leaving. the septic tank over there is where it goes to. Yeah, push go there. <laughs> oh, no. There's a hidden septic tank buried out back that no one knew about, oh, 15 goodness. feet outside the building. So I'm pushing, going, am I there yet? It's only 100 feet away. <laughs> no, not there yet. I'll push in another 50 or something. Yeah, not there. Of course, the wow. push By the time rock. we got to 250 or something, it's like, well, it ain't going there. Where's it going? Yeah. Yeah. Up like well, a pretzel there and, and in the tank already, it's too late. Push rods are several thousand dollars. That's crazy. Oh, it very much was. That yeah, might have been a leaf. I couldn't tell for sure. <laughs> Either way, it's got to get dug up. Yep. Yeah, the amount of chunks of pipe and gravel, you yeah, know something's not busted. Yeah, little pieces, that's the problem. Those are it's big all pieces of gravel. right there and it's yeah, exploded. All right, all right. Uh, all right. Are you guys able to write up an estimate so we can send you one insurance and see if they cover it? That we would have to see what the permits would be in okay. Kakana. It's like 80 bucks, but I'd have to check. Okay. Gas is over here, that's good. The water line's over there, that's good. There shouldn't be anything in the way. And everything else is running this side of the sidewalk, I believe. Should be. I don't know, you know it's all good. Something's piled there. I have no problem drilling some TDS and stuff. I had to take that off so it wasn't recording. Oh, okay. Turn off the audio. <laughs> you know, I have TDS internet, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I know. AT and AT was gonna hook on the uh, did work behind my yeah, house. It over here. And they did about 25,000 worth of damage to my garage and my landscaping. Yeah. And they're self insured. I still saw filling. this coming. I My insurance, I made sure I had insurance to cover it. Sure enough, the minute I find, oh, you're not covered. Well, everything says I am. 
So ain't nobody wanting to do anything. So and you wouldn't have found out this is acting up probably for another year or two at except least. For that sump pump issue. Except for the sump pump problem dumped so much down at once because I'm at 30, 40 feet and it's still draining. I've had the hose running for yes. 20, 30 we minutes. Liquefied all the and it's still clogging up the clean gravel. Keeping up. That's something. Yeah. So I mean it's not something that happened overnight and it probably wouldn't have shown up until at least next spring if it wasn't for the sump pump dumping so much at once. Yeah. Because yeah. normally if it just kicks on, doesn't run for five, ten minutes, it has time to filter through yeah. and the pipe drains down. Only when you get to heavy rains where it's coming down the gutter and the sump pump's running a lot too, would it fill up enough to not keep up. It's outside rain and game, but what are you gonna go up? Well, I do. The next day is when people usually notice it because the sump pump's running. Hey, all of a sudden it's still wet there, it's overflowing. Yeah. Next to the house. Yeah. That's when you notice it. Crazy. Well, we appreciate you guys coming. You're very welcome. It worked out well. This is not the first one of these today we got to go to.